This is the third lesson in our series, Phrasal Verbs in Daily English Conversations. Hello and welcome everyone, this is me Nua Tanglulink. If you haven't watched the first lesson, I recommend that you do that now. This is important because I explain some general rules about phrasal verbs that you need to know before you practice them in conversation. To watch the first lesson, you can either click on this image or if you're watching on a mobile device, you will find the link in the description. If you've already watched the first lesson, then you're ready to carry on with this one. We're now going to practice some new phrasal verbs and expressions in a new dialogue. Just remember to repeat each sentence first with the non-phrasal expression and then with the phrasal expression, so that by the end of the lesson, you have a really good grasp of the meaning and usage of these expressions. Right then, when you're ready, we can begin. Phrasal verbs in daily conversations. Lesson three. Has the meeting been cancelled again? Has the meeting been called off again? No, it has been postponed to Thursday. No, it has been put off until Thursday. Oh no, not Thursday. My whole day is already occupied. My whole day is already taken up. I think the boss will be angry if you don't make an appearance. I think the boss will be angry if you don't show up. I really can't. It will ruin all my plans for Thursday. It will mess up all my plans for Thursday. I'm warning you, he gets angry easily these days. He gets worked up easily these days. Why is that? I think it has to do with the company being bought. I think it has to do with the company being taken over. They're not going to make him redundant, are they? They're not going to lay him off, are they? No, but the final result may be a lower salary for him. No, but he may end up with a lower salary. So you don't think he will tolerate my absence then? So you don't think he will put up with my absence then? No, unless you can find a really good excuse. No, unless you can come up with a really good excuse. Right, that's the end of the dialogue. Now it's time for our gap filling exercise. So complete each sentence with one of the verbs we've just practiced. Number one. John has a really good idea. John has come up with a really good idea. Number two. It is a mistake to your loyal employees. It is a mistake to lay off your loyal employees. Number three. 
This is intolerable. I cannot it any more. I cannot put up with it any more. Number four. They've the match because of bad weather. They've called off the match because of bad weather. Number five. The rain has unfortunately the barbecue. The rain has unfortunately messed up the barbecue. Number six. They're planning to a foreign bank. They're planning to take over a foreign bank. Number seven. Are you free tomorrow? No, the whole day is by meetings. The whole day is taken up by meetings. Number eight. He was hoping for a steak, but he cold soup. He was hoping for a steak, but he ended up with cold soup. Number nine. She's the nervous type. She gets very easily. She gets worked up very easily. Number 10. He should have arrived by now. I wonder why he hasn't yet. I wonder why he hasn't shown up yet. Right then, that's the end of the exercise. I hope you did well. As you know, you can now go to our website, anglolink.com, for more explanations and exercises. Thank you for watching. I look forward to seeing you in our next video. Bye now.